Well, the fight for Ukraine's future obviously continues, but its past is also under threat. The country is rich with historic buildings, museums and art collections, which could be targeted by the Russians. Now the race is on to protect them, as our culture editor Katie Razzle has been finding out. Odessa's fine art museum holds 10,000 works of art. Four days before war started, people queued to see their city's treasures here, perhaps for the last time. Its acting director has now fled the country to protect her young son. Odessa Fine Arts Museum has been like a child for me for many years. So it was basically a decision about which child do you want to let down or abandon? At the end of last year, Alexandra showed the Ukrainian president around the museum. He's now battling to save his country from the Russians, and she and her team are fighting to save the collection. I did everything possible to be done to keep collections safe. Of course, everybody were thinking about ways to protect collections. But at the same time, it was impossible to believe that it would happen. Across Ukraine, efforts are being made to protect not just the people, but their culture. A strike on Kiev St. Sofia Church or Lviv's stunning architectural centre would be a disaster, and there's much more. The country is home to seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We are facing basically not just attack on Ukraine, we also feel it as facing an attack on our culture. Olesia heads one of Europe's largest art museums, 500 kilometres north of Odessa in Kiev. She's staying put, despite the dangers, with a mission to protect. Is it your intention that you will be staying in Kiev? As long as we can guard our institution, when it's not possible any longer, then the uh, situation changes. They know what could happen. The Russians are reported to have already destroyed artworks by the celebrated Ukrainian folk artist Maria Primachenko when they burned a museum in Ivankiv, north of Kiev. Picasso once called her an artistic miracle. I'm terrified, I'm frightened. I believe that uh, for them it would make sense to destroy some of art that shows Ukrainian heritage and showing that we're a different nation, that we have different history, and we're different, we're not Russian. It will cease to exist. UNESCO has demanded Russia protect Ukraine's cultural heritage, but this is war. And this nation is not just fighting for its future, but its past too. Katie Razzle, BBC News.